If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, Legend Saturday is upon us. We got Banger Legends. And as I've been telling you guys, when we have Banger Legends, you have to be on the market. Lawrence Taylor and Reggie Wayne are exactly that. I promise you guys, today's gonna be one of the best days to make coins. The market is crashing. Now, it's starting to come back up a little bit, but it's still crashed. Make sure you're taking advantage. Guys that weren't in certain price ranges, that's why I rate crashes. Like, if a guy's in the 4 to 500k range and then the 3 to 4, card drop 25% or to 20% depending, make sure you're taking advantage of that. But the mo there are so many ways you can make coins off stuff like that. Now, guys like Tony Gonzalez right now have went from the 300k range to the 260 range. Like, it's a big drop, pretty big drop, especially even after reduction, you could either make coins or keep. There's plenty of ways to go about this. We're going to check out everything. But yeah, Bo, Bo Jackson had a sm similar effect, but Lawrence Taylor and Reggie Wayne, hands down, took the cake as the best crash yet in terms of legend. Now, this is going to happen frequently as we start getting better guys like Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, and so on and so forth. Now guys, before we get into the video and we check out all the stuff from legends that, we ha that they have to offer in terms of the market right now, make sure down below. Join the Poodle, uh, the Poodle Squad, guys. Make sure you do that. And now all you got to do is enter the Poodle Squad to be shouted out in videos. Just go down below, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and make sure you turn on the post notification bell next to the subscribe button. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Jack Hall. Shout out to you for supporting the videos each and every day. Guys, if you want a chance to, like I said, you can enter in all the videos for the day. Works the same way. Get you multiple entries. Now, let's head on over to the market here and go check these out. Now, Legends are currently crashing now. Things have come up a little bit. Uh, the best time is right, right when packs are being open. You can tell packs are being open just by how frequently things are being posted. Now, Dan, guys like Dan Marino were just 230. But the, the difference here is that when he was at 230, he was just like 320k. 315 just as a day or so ago when Legends were super expensive and training world up. Richard Seymour was like 290. Junior Seau was a little over 300k. John Lynch was in the 300k range. Now, Tony Gonzalez is coming back up, but he is 294. He was just 260. Now, of course, you want to be sniping these out individually, so I would recommend going like this and checking them by themselves. So, of course, he's coming back up, as you can see. This is why I emphasize the fact that you need to be taking advantage of this when it happens. Don't, don't even comment, ask when, just look. You can see it very clearly has been dropping today, as we were able to see. Um, Tony Gonzalez is coming back up, see? He's going to be back up to 330 pretty soon. Had you been one of the guys to get it for 260, 250, you would have made yourself, if you saw him at 320, you would have made yourself like 40K. Um, or you could have just kept him for a great price and that applies to pretty much everyone here junior say at 259 Of course, he was a little over 300k I'll pick up some guys myself the only issue is that I'm gonna probably need Lawrence Taylor on the team So I can't be wasting coins right now or as well as I'm gonna do a gameplay So I'm gonna need the coins pretty fast as well, which is another aspect of that Moving on down. Are there anyone else like Bo Jackson was just about 350? He's around 361 and again, you guys, remember, he was around 410, 415 kind of base where he was staying, like, late 395-ish. Weird that that one just sold out. Someone didn't refresh. Um, there's just a lot, of, there's a lot of opportunity here. Again, the overall drop, let's say most cards went down, I'd say about 20%, right? So that's, that's fair. 20% to 300K card is around, what, 80K? 80K-ish? No. It's like 70K, 65, 70K. Each card went about, I'd say each card went about down 60K for a small time period. So if you, if you catch the legend drop at the exact moment that packs are dropping you're here at 1030, you will get about a 20% decrease on a card or, or like a prop you can make versus if you wait a little bit longer, you'll probably get like a 10 to a five and then eventually things will break even. Now they won't stay, they won't break even entirely though. They'll come close enough to where it's still decent value. Like Junior Seau is just a great value right now. Now I wonder why him out of all of them are dropping. Either he's coming out of packs a lot or people just don't want him anymore, which I find kind of weird. Of course, Lynch, I'm um, not really the biggest fan of John Lynch, but he was super cheap as well. Now, let's see how this is impacting some of the lower tier stuff and legends. So, we got like, let's see, where are the full legends down here? Jerry Rice. Okay, so Jerry Rice is definitely down a little bit here. He's 160. Um, I don't think he went down a ton. Again, as you get bigger prices are bigger differences. So, 400 hits to 360 is a bigger difference. Here, he goes from like 180 to 160. He was probably just 140, 150. Again, similar similar percentage decrease just a smaller price range so it doesn't look as drastic but again based on ratios and how the the drop off and the deduction you get and the tax you pretty much get from EA affects things it, it works out all about the same way when you really look at it um reggie wayne's lowest piece is crazy expensive right now let's go see uh let's see real quick 
let's go back up real quick and i want to go check out reggie wayne's pricing to show you guys what he was at so reggie wayne's sitting around 490 i saw him for like 460 i mean he's gonna be around here i like i said i think he's gonna cap around 500 600k uh, he's not gonna move from there for at least a few days to a week and now lawrence taylor like we all knew was going to be the banger of the crop a million coins that's absolutely ridiculous i mean he's worth it but that's just crazy pr i can't afford him you have to you have to pick up coins like that it's one of those days where you don't open packs because here here's what's likely gonna happen you spend 200 dollars on a bundle or 300 dollars on bundles and all you end up doing is getting you don't get them so now you still don't have them you spend all the money just go pick up coins like i said coins are half off on muttreserve.com right now make sure you take advantage if you use code poodle at check out get an additional 15 percent off that's that's like the best thing to do is just buy those coins on saturdays get all the cards for cheap buy the cards you need and then resell later and you pretty much increase those coins which is harder to do with packs per se because packs should pull and the issue with packs on saturdays is that when you pull those packs the cards are decreased that, that, that's like the gimmick that ea just gets everyone with is that when they drop those packs it's like when they drop legend packs they know all the stuff coming out of legend packs are going to be decreased because everyone's opened them so you, you pay here you get this and then in a few days everything goes back up so you can't even afford the stuff you pulled technically but it's just a vicious cycle that it is now moving on to the lower piece i want to check out some of the uh, lower ones so again lawrence taylor's isn't the best example because he's going to be used for the set right now but let's go check him out uh 33k so again if you ever want to build a set guys this is like i always say best advice is if you ever want to build a say tony gonzalez when those packs start opening start sniping out tony gonzalez's piece now i like to do that from the set personally that's where i would recommend you do it it just makes it a lot easier in terms of uh organizing everything and backing in and out so you come over to the set let's say when you're tony gonzalez legend saturday you probably could have built tony gonzalez for like 220 230 at a point today you click here you see he's 122 right so you go ahead and you're like okay so you keep clicking into it backing out backing out when things were dropping it would have been like posting new one new one new one as people were pulling him probably could have got him for like 90k 100k go on over same thing here this one's gonna go for 63k again you probably got that for like 55k 52k 60 uh, 60k and you just kept going and before you know it you probably so so far working on 180k let's see 210 uh 210 total then we got 230 and i believe oh that's another 10k 250 all right so we're looking at 250k 260k give or take for this car which isn't bad now again if you had sniped them out and you got them as things were dropping out really fast you probably could have gotten them for a grand total of probably like 220k 210k 230 240 and that just saves you a decent chunk on the real card and then if you could sell it back later for 300k so you can make it at this time and then sell it back later for 300k there's just so many ways to make it take advantage of these market crashes guys it's always the best way to make coins now you may have missed this one at this point you can still go in there and just try to see if things are opening people are going to get out of work keep opening packs and so on and so forth but definitely still try to take advantage go get your coins get some coins to play with get some coins to pick up lawrence taylor with i want lawrence taylor but i'm talking about to afford him today i have to go i'm trying to sell some stuff the issue is like i don't want to sell like the issue is i, I sure i don't want to pick up coins because i don't i have coins in the binder i should go sell some stuff but things are cheaper right now so i'm gonna have to wait until the market goes back up a little bit sell some stuff off and then go pick up lawrence but not that price i'm gonna let him get down just a little bit more it's a million coins kind of crazy at that point i might switch by the ltd but guys better for the video hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel you want to be shouted out on the next poodle squad again shout out to jack hall for being a part of us uh and supporting each and every day if you want to be shouted out all you gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and go to the noti bell icon and turn on all notifications that's about it once you do all those things you'll be entered to be shouted out Thank you guys so much for watching. We expect well, at least one more video for the day. That's it. I'm out. Peace.